if we're talking about the impact of my film to Indonesian society, I think it's kind of like opening up a discussion because uh, the terms and the issues of gender equality, of um, homosexuality is very um, sensitive for Indonesia, especially Indonesia today. We used to be a country that respects diversity, but politically, I don't know why, it's a mysterious subject, uh, but now we're getting more conservative, more and more conservative these days. The film acts as a, an opening to a very sensitive um, circumstances. But to me, as long as we can discuss about the issues of uh, gender equality, of uh, uh, transgenders and uh, homosexuality openly, more openly in a society, that is the first step to bring awareness, to bring back the diversity in Indonesia uh, like we used to have in the old days. As a model, many of my environment are transgender, they're very brilliant, they're very, very talented. Because, I mean, why people are always to, to alienate them? You know, I mean, they are so brilliant. You know. As long as I concern, they are so brilliant. So I just, uh, I just observe how they do, how they gesture, how they, the way they speak, the way they, the way they speak to, the, to each other. But I don't have one role model. Well, I just, they are just observers. The reason why I shoot uh, films uh, about uh, gender uh, is because basically maybe I grew up in a very friend, gender friendly uh, family. When I grew up, all I know that uh, society is very uh, uh, tolerable to differences, to um, alternative kind of lifestyle. But as I grow older, I realize that society is actually very cruel to people that are different. Be very romantic about uh, the kind of society that I wish we have. So I portray that uh, in, in the films I make. And the difficulties in making the film, I can say that there is no difficulties at all because I think I'm so lucky. I've been working with very open-minded uh, group of crews, of actors and uh, they are very aware of, you know, uh, this kind of movement that we're doing. Uh, so they are very pleasant people to work with. Uh, the difficulties arise only when the film is released, not during the making. Really, I cannot speak on, you know, uh, the transgender in the society or anything because I didn't do any research for this film regarding the transgender uh, community or anything. I only talked to friends of mine who are happen to be transgenders and everything but that was that was the the maximum of my research. I know now after doing this film it's a very uh, big community in, in, in Jakarta alone there's a very big community and uh, I happen to be hanging out with a few of them right now because they're friends of mine but you know, I think it is, you know, it's, it's never been spoken of, but it's a very big community here. We live in an extreme kind of situation as well. If you go to one area, for example, in Jakarta itself, there is an area where they are very friendly to transgenders. Even uh, the neighborhood helps each other, the transgenders doing their hair and makeup and, um, you know, they are exchanging uh, business like like regular, regular people in a regular society. It's so uh, touching for me to see that kind of neighborhood exist in Jakarta. However, there's other area, not far from that area, where the neighborhood is so uh, cruel to the transgender. So I think uh, we live in, in a very uh, unique extreme, where uh, there is uh, an area where and, and society, part of society that is very tolerable to the transgender. Uh, they can live side by side uh, in a coexisting uh, positive kind of way. But there is also an area where uh, hate is actually dominating. So I don't know, we live in a very extreme 
uh, situation. I think it's a new trend starting five, six years ago that films about very conservative Muslims are dominating our cinemas. Before that, uh, the, the kind of uh, stories showing in our cinemas are very diverse as well. And uh, I can say that it's still dominating the religious film in our cinema now, but uh, some of the filmmakers are still trying to give another kind of alternative stories because Indonesia is actually not a Muslim country. We are a, a democratic country that is dominated by Muslim population. But uh, the, the system is, is, is democracy. So uh, based on that, some of filmmakers are still uh, thriving to uh, give uh, alternative stories because we are very uh, we're living in a very uh, unique situation and I think every one of us uh, are entitled to tell our own stories. There was a trend about a year ago where people started making film with the Muslim as a theme of the film. But there are, yes, there are filmmakers in Indonesia who are doing stuff like that, but I'm not part of that filmmaker. I think because basically, you know, the, the majority of people in this country are Muslim, so I think they are trying to cater for audiences uh, with a Muslim background, so I think that's one of the reasons. I don't think it's such a big question about that, because independent film in Indonesia or maybe in other countries, independent films always telling the truth, which is, uh, well, this is my world, this is my environment, this is they always explore and express the way they, as it is. Actually, most of the Indonesian films are very much influenced by artistic cinema, you know, from, from cinema from abroad. But I think there are some Indonesian filmmakers who have a certain signature to their work. Uh, and I think I'm very happy that, that uh, a few of my friends have that, you know, who makes films that have a certain signature to it, who, you know, when you see the first few frames or you see a certain shot and you just know that that's their signature. I think there are a lot of uh, filmmakers from Indonesia who has that signature, but I'm sure that we are very much influenced by a lot of you know, filmmakers from overseas. So, so I think the crashing of both cultures is, is the actual, uh, the outcome is Indonesian films. A few years ago, Indonesian film cinema has been attending to many international film festivals abroad. I'm quite optimistic about the progressive of Indonesian film cinema. However, the most important uh, thing for me is to be able to see uh, the, the amount of screens growing in Indonesia because we have to uh, realize that we only have the same amount of screens as Malaysia where our population is like 250 million people much much more than Malaysia but the amount of screens that we have today is the same like in, in, in a country as big as Malaysia so I feel that the public didn't get uh, their rights to be able to access film more now in Indonesia film is still a very exclusive uh, medium uh, that people have to pay a lot to be able to see a movie in a, a very high-end uh, kind of uh, cinema venues so I wish that uh, you know there will be more screens because uh, I believe the Indonesian public are entitled to see different films and they are entitled to choose uh, by not uh, giving enough screens I think it's kind of like limit limiting the access of public Honestly, I have great expectation for uh, Indonesian films right now because um, there are a lot of young filmmakers doing great films right now and they have a voice to their film. Some of the films are playing the international festival, so which is really good. And uh, some are winning awards as well, so which is really also good. Um, but the thing is, the, in, I'm, I'm very much concern about the Indonesian film as well because it's not really in the in this country I don't think uh, it's the audience are not there yet you know because uh, some films are not making money and most of them are not making money right now so but I hope it will change in the future I hope there are you know there will be some change in uh, in the quality of the films that we're producing I hope there will be changes in the numbers that we're generating from the audience so 
yeah, again, you know, like I said, I have very much great expectation for Indonesian filmmaking.